Hey guys, Silence Yao here. Welcome back to the Uta Macross Gacha video. I finally have enough singing stones where well, I just waited for my pay to come in to purchase some. But anyways, we are going to do Min Mei's Gacha and I happen to have Min Mei on my main screen. Um, not because I want to test out the theory, but I actually needed Min Mei's Kiawawa dolls because I'm actually stocking up on them. So anyway guys, let's do this. We're gonna dive into Min Mei's Gacha before it disappears. If you're watching this video late at this point in time, I apologize for its uh, late appearance. But, you know, uh, information like this is always good to have in mind. Uh, just in case maybe um, you didn't get Min Mei's plate at this point in time. And maybe you might want to try again when the episode plate resurfaces in another uh, future gacha. Uh, maybe even for Min Mei's birthday, that kind of stuff. So pay attention and to what I have to say because Min Mei's plate it's actually an awesome plate out of the entire um, summer selection episode plates that we currently have on hand. Although we have yet to see um, Basaras and Milanes, which Adena has already launched out the info. I have already updated my um, Facebook page with the information, uh, translating all the information that Dana has shared on their wiki for Utah Macross. Um, we already know that Basara and Milane's plate will be coming out next month on the third event of the month, which is the high score challenge event. So let's take a look at Min Mei's episode plate. And of course, straight away I have it here, which makes this episode plate the most worthwhile out of all the summer collection episode plates. Min Mei's plate actually has a special note attached to it. And what what better uh, is that it has the score note attached to it, which it helps you attain more high score which is fantastic because this current event is all about high score and doing the most amount of damage um, to their raid bosses and of course Min Mei's plate is the same as Valkyrie's set which comes with a total score of 3800 or more um, with the entire luck factor built into it as well and Min Mei's plate actually has a well balanced stat all around um, soul, voice and charm Center skill for Min Mei's plate as rank. Um, love element plates total will be boosted by 60% up. With a center skill like this, you know this plate is definitely a must have for all Min Mei fans. And of course, for hardcore players, this is definitely a must have episode plate at this point in time. But let's see whether the other uh, skills, the active skill and the life skill, will make this plate one of the best plates available in Uta Cross at this point in time. Um, active skill, well for 10 seconds your score is boosted by 100% up So immediately we know Min Mei's plate is a center position plate meant for high score purposes With that special note attached to the plate as well And of course this life skill is S rank as well um, And of course for 50 seconds or 12 seconds, sorry At the 50 second mark for 12 seconds you will have an easier time touching notes So Min Mei's plate is simply a must have. It is currently one of the best plates available in Uta Macross in terms of center position usage and of course live skill when it comes to practicing songs or maybe even completing missions. Min Mei is now in top tier uh, with this episode plate, uh, especially for pink element episode plates if you want, if you want to be more specific. Um, it is now a must-have episode plate. So if you guys have actually gotten this episode plate um, through your first template pulls, lucky you. Uh, hopefully, I'm able to get um, Min Mei's plate, at least a single copy, then I can use my Rare Up Star in the future to power up this episode plate um, from my first template pool because I don't have enough to do a second one, although I do have 800 Singing Stones, which I can afford to do. Um, second template pool that will cost 500 stones but I would like to use the singing stones um, for the red boss event that's currently going on because I am within the top 100 position and I would like to retain it that way just for another day and hopefully I will be able to finally um, show you guys the images for all four red boss episode plates that are currently released in the game um, and of course to finally achieve top 100 placing for a red boss event and I can probably retire from Uta Macross, who knows. <laughs> uh, anyway guys, let's do this. Uh, we're gonna do a single template pool at discounted uh, stone cost of 300. Hopefully I do get Min Mei's episode plate. If not, 
Uh, I probably might have to wait out for another time that um, her episode plate comes out again in the future. So let's do this, guys. There was loading at the beginning, but you know, um, sometimes loading doesn't mean the six star episode plate. It could be maybe other plates from within the gacha itself. So that's kind of a bummer. I think I will not get Min Mei's episode plate. If I do, it's going to be a godsend miracle. So here we go. The first red box. It doesn't evolve. We do get a brand new episode plate for Min Mei's swimsuit. Um, so that's pretty nice. Uh, at least we get the costume unlocked. And with this as well, definitely we have guaranteed the costume within the uh, options of unlocking with the episode ops, which I don't have enough at this point of time. So. Sadly to say, I won't be unlocking Min Mei's costume anytime soon. Alright, here's the last red box and doesn't evolve and a lot of green uh, love showing around. <laughs> so yeah, so we do get um, costume points for Min Mei's costume. I think this is supposed to be... Oh, it's an old plate that is not meant for Min Mei's brand new costume. So luckily, I did get that um, exclusive plate just for costume points. So that's pretty nice. I wonder, is this for that Zero G Love costume? I, yeah, it is. So <laughs> anyway, guys, hopefully you had way better luck than I did. I definitely did not have luck for this gacha, but I am grateful for this particular episode play appearing. Um, at least it gives me an option to try and unlock Min Mei's costume um, via episode ops, which will be very costly if I intend to. Uh, hopefully you guys, like I said, had better luck. I know some of you already have pulled Min Mei's episode plate out, uh, especially um, for those who have shared their awesome pulls on the cross space time day culture. Um, congrats to you guys! You have obtained one of the best episode plates out there in Utah Macross at, the, at this point of time. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to do better for your high scores in the future, and of course, you know because you're lacking in terms of awesome plates out there. Uh, and you happen to have lots of singing stones on hand, why not try pulling for Min Mei's episode plate? It is definitely worth your wow and of course your money if you have the sufficient funds to purchase the singing stones from the store. And of course, why not get those Nyan Kuji tickets at the meantime? Because Nyan Kuji is still going on and it will be expiring soon. Uh, if you guys want to take note of that and have forgotten that you have tickets on hand, uh, that you should be using. Let's take a look at the Kuji box and see when it's going to expire. Well, it's going to expire in two days time. So guys, make sure you uh, use up all the Nyang Kuji tickets um, before it expires. Make sure you do it um, well before the server resets on uh, let's see, today is Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Thursday, Friday. So it resets on Friday night. Um, well, in Japan, so make sure you guys at least use up um, all the tickets that you have on hand by two days time, within two days time. All right, guys, that's all for me uh, from me for now. Uh, hopefully, as usual, if you like all the information I shared, uh, hit the like button down below. Share this video to all your friends out there who are still playing Utah Macross, and of course, I'll see you guys soon. Until then, bye.